Hello my friends, here we are at Luminar Neo and today we are talking about toning the greens. This is something that I do pretty much in every one of my images that has a lot of greens and that is because I really do not like this kind of yellow greens. I usually either cool them down or I warm them up and that is exactly what we're going to do in this tutorial. To do this you have to go into your edits and then we will work with the color panel. When you click on the color panel you have your basic saturation vibrance adjustments and then you have the HSL adjustment and this is what we will work with. If you look at this image you see there is a lot of greens but really all these greens most of them are actually yellows. If I take the yellow luminance and I move it to the left and the right you will see how much yellow we have in this image. So how do we adjust these greens? We will start with the hue and what I want to do first we will cool this image and then we will warm it up. So in order to make these yellows cooler tone, I will take the yellows and move them almost all the way into the greens. And now I really got rid of those yellows. Then I will take the greens and move them a little bit into cyan, something like that. You don't want to get them blue, but you know, a little bit more cyan. And now we have a neon looking green. We have to go into saturation and we will take down the green saturation almost all the way to 100 but not quite, maybe around, you know, negative 80. And then I will take the yellows down just a little bit, not too much. Then I will increase the orange a little bit just because we have the orange into the cabin and I would like to keep that. And now I would like to go into luminance and I'm going to darken the greens a little bit, something like that. And maybe a little bit of the yellow, but not too much. And that just really cooled down the greens. If we look, this is the before, this is the after, before and after. I can even take the whole um, exposure down a little bit and that will help a little bit, just something like that. I like that. I'm going to take it down and then maybe I will mask out into the middle. I'll do a radiant mask to keep the exposure on my cabin. And that looks good. And then maybe we'll even, um, no, that maybe we'll brighten a little bit of the mantle. So let's increase the exposure just a little bit and we'll mask this with I don't want a brush. Let's do a radiant gradient as well. And let's see. Now we have to inverse the selection because we're applying this adjustment to outside of our radiant. So we'll invert it and there you go. And that is too much really. We'll bring it down more. That looks good. So let's see the image again. This is the before, this is the after, before and after. If we want to cool things even more, then we can always go to our overlays. And for this image, I will use this overlay. It's just a gradient overlay. I will fill it to screen. And when I increase opacity to 100%, you can see it's an overlay that goes from a blue to cyan and orange on the top. And then when I change the blending mode to soft light, we get something like that. So let's see, this is before the overlay. This is with the overlay. You see you're getting more of that cool tone. 100% is too much, so I'll keep it around 40 maybe. And we can also mask out the with the erase, the masking. We're going to mask out the cabin and the man because we don't want them to be too blue. Just a rough mask, it doesn't really matter. Something like that. And let's see the image again. This is our before, this is the after, before and after. And yes, maybe I went a little bit too far, but that is okay. I want you guys to really see what is happening. I want to bring a little bit of darkness into this corner just to guide your eye in the center of the image. And for that, I will go to my original photo and I will take the develop exposure just a little bit lower, something like that. And I will just mask this into the corners with the radial gradient. There you go. And then I'll close the envelope, I'll open it again, take the exposure down a little bit and I'll mask it with the radial gradient just in here like that. 
all inverted and there you go let's see again this is our image this is the before this is the after before and after and this is how i will cool down my greens now let's reset this image and do the opposite where we want to warm up the greens we'll go back to color just like before and this time if you remember last time we took the yellows and onto the hue we took the yellows and moved them into the greens this time we'll take the yellows and we'll move them into the orange and then we'll take the greens and move them into the yellows now I can increase the, the oranges or make them more red. And let's see, this is our before and after. Things are looking good. And now we can go to saturation and I'll take down the saturation of the greens a little bit. Maybe a little bit of the yellow. And I'll increase the oranges a little bit. Something like that. And that is looking good. Then I want to go to luminance and let's see. I want to brighten the oranges because this affects, look at the cabin over here. You see how that brings it up a little bit. So I want to brighten the oranges, but break down the yellows a little bit and the greens. And by looking at it, I wanted to have a little bit more of a rich tone. So I will go to my overlays and for this one, I will use this overlay. I'm going to increase the opacity to 100%, fill it to screen, and change the blending mode to soft light. And now we have a lot more rich tone. This is the before the overlay, this is after, before and after. If 100% is too much for you, then you can lower it to about 60%. And let's see it again. This is our before and after, before and after. I want to darken the corners just like I did before, so I'll go to I'll go to my original image, not my overlay, and then to develop, I'll bring the exposure down a little bit, and then with the masking, I will use a radial gradient and really darken these corners. Make sure to invert your mask, exit develop, enter it again, and do the same thing. Take down the exposure and mask with the radial gradient the other corner. Invert the selection and there you go. So this is our before and after. Before and after. Really looks like we took this image from spring to fall. If you do not want any of these adjustments on your um, cabin or the person, you could mask it as you go along and keep the original colors. But I quite like this kind of, you know, orange look, brown look to my images. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.